Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Streaming Sundays here at Tortoise Land. We're inside the house, there's a special reason why. And we got a very special boy and a very special occasion. What is it? What's the occasion? Well, okay, somebody turns one what? in a couple days. So we're gonna celebrate today, he turns one on November 1st. But we're live streaming today on Sunday. And so who's that boy? Well, let's see here. Ready? Look at here. <gasps> Come here. Okay. Okay. If you all don't know this dude, oh my God. Okay. Right here. This is, of course, who is it? Sheldon. Baby Sheldon, everybody. Okay. This boy has been through a lot. Okay. Any of you who have been following uh, Sheldon and Shelby, his sisters, okay, they came to me back in December last year. So you got to check out the playlist, okay? Shelby and Sheldon. There's a whole miracle story of how this boy uh, and his sister were found in the backyard of a beautiful woman named Robin and her son. They have two adult um, uh, desert tortoises, which is what Sheldon is, okay? And they found them in the backyard. They didn't even know that, uh, that she was pregnant, okay? And the story is they had late. They didn't have to November 1st about so, okay, that makes him one year old, okay? And uh, he struggled because they hatched at a time when they wanted to go into hibernation. So you might notice we are where? Inside the house, right? This might look like familiar territory to you all because this is where Sheldon and Shelby spent their early days, okay? They would go up Tortoise Land Mountain. We had a lot of fun videos. Swoop right down and see that boy on his level. Who's there? Who is it? Who is it? we got? The get Tracy, the, maybe? Get the candle. Oh, here you go. Right here. <laughs> Let's get in and get its boy. All right? Okay, look at it. Oh, here, that's a focus. Pull I, back I keep a little bit. Doing it, but it doesn't yeah, you just pull back a little. There you go. There you go. Okay? Look at this, okay? So, this is baby Sheldon, okay? So, you ready for this, everybody? Sing with me. Come on here, okay? Everybody because out there in YouTube land. <laughs> it's a miracle. What's that? Everybody out there in YouTube land. Tracy Wells says morning, everybody. Oh, hi, Tracy. Okay, it is a miracle that this boy is with us because he had a lot of struggles, right? So, you ready for this? This is for you, Sheldon, okay? Sheldon weighed in yesterday, 86 grams. He's never weighed that much. In about a week's time, he'll come back next Saturday, and uh, it'll be the last time he'll go to the vet for a while. Wow, okay. We'll have to bring him once a month because the boy is growing up. So how appropriate. Ready, everybody? Sing with me. Well, Tracy says he's so adorable. Right? Oh, come on. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy da, da, birthday, da, da. my da, da. dear little boy. Happy birthday, baby da, da, Sheldon. Da. You're so popular all over the world because he's a fighter. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yay. I want to thank everybody, right, for your love and support, for helping us through patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy. Because this guy, you know, uh, he's, going, he's gone to the vet a lot, two or three times a week for a long time. Marie says, happy birthday, hi, everybody. Great news, gaining oh, weight. Right? Yes. From Marie? Yes. Happy Marie. birthday from Tracy. Right? I know. Look at this. Parsons, I could cry. happy birthday. Parsons, happy birthday. Wow. Okay? I could cry. This this boy, it was so important to, you know, for him, especially when we lost his sister. That is like, I had a talk with him, and I'm like, dude, you are representing. Okay? You're not just representing you <laughs> and Desert Tortoises. You're representing your sister. He's looking so, a little bit confused. Okay, huh? Well, he just woke up. <laughs> right? So, everybody, thank you. And please consider Patreon.com, okay? Because for $1 a month, you can be a member of the Tortoise Guy and, and help us help them, okay? But we're not talking about that. We're talking about his birthday. Now, why is he in the house, everybody? So, happy birthday. And on his actual video, November 1st, we'll put out another fun little video, okay? So, why is he in the house? Do you know why he's in the house, Suzanne? Well, there's some heat lamps going. That's right. Okay, happy birthday, dude. All right? Let's get this out of here. Okay, funny thing. I, on my birthday, I had the I had the cupcake outside, just so you might remember. And Digger, the big tortoise, was out there, and uh, he ate the cupcake. What? Okay, he ate the cupcake while you know people were saying happy birthday, Kevin. So let's put this down. Okay. So we're gonna have just a quick video today. Okay. And uh, part of it is why it's cold outside, right, Suzanne? It's a little bit chilly. cold. It's chilly. And take a look. Come on out the window. So this is where everything happens in the tourist land office. So down there's tortoise uh, land. And who's that tortoise? Can you focus down there? Mm -hmm. Oh, right? That is Big Mama. It's okay. I don't think it zooms in. Yeah. Okay, that's Big Mama. And Big Mama has big news. 
What's, What's the, the big news? news? Big mama laid eggs what? last night. Okay, right? Okay, she laid eggs actually two nights ago. She laid eggs, so we're gonna go check that out right now. All right, and so these guys are inside, and who else is this? This is the newest tortoise that came to tortoise land, okay? This is a desert tortoise, as you know, right? One year old. Okay, this guy is a sulcata. It's actually a girl. She's probably gonna pee, okay? And, and her name is Torga. You guys might know. Torga went to the vet uh, last Saturday. Okay, speaking of the vet, the incredible video, if you haven't seen it, called uh, Desert Tortoise Goes to Vet, Gets X-Ray. That's about Nuvi and Baby Sheldon are there. So if you haven't seen that video, it's off the hook, okay? So this girl is in the house because she was in a, a, a fish tank, an aquarium, for three years, the whole three years of her life, okay? She was loved. However, being in, a, in an aquarium is not a good thing. So people, look, don't put your, don't put your tortoises in a, in a glass aquarium. Please don't. If they're in one, get them out. Get a container. It's inexpensive. Why is it better? Because you don't have the glass that doesn't let the heat in and out or anything, okay? So they sit there and they basically either bake or freeze, okay? They don't get fresh air. So she's in here, why? Because she suffers from... Uh, it has an M in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So forgive me. Okay. Uh, okay. It, 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 she has bone disease, right? It starts with an M. I'm sorry. I can't think of it. We talked about it last Sunday. But the problem is that she was in an aquarium, so don't do that. You put them in something like this, and the cool thing is something like this, you just pick it up and take it outside when it's sunny. Okay. She suffers from malnutrition. She suffered from not enough sunlight. Biggest thing was small tank. She suffered from not being able to move. So go in close on her, okay? So you gotta watch and see, okay? She has metabolic bone disease, okay? She didn't get enough calcium. She didn't get enough sunlight. You're gonna watch her walk, and she cannot lift her legs off the ground, okay? So she's dragging herself, okay? And uh, and Sheldon's like, hey, I'm gonna sleep, Dad, while you talk about this, okay? So here's the thing, right? Metabolic bone disease. Okay, here's the good news. She already has been here for two weeks. She's eaten the heck. So what do you do for that? If, if your tortoise has metabolic bone disease, look, the shape is, tells you right here that she's so pyramided, so young, that, that there were problems, okay? All right? And so she's getting a ton of calcium, okay? And the good news is she's eating everything. She's outside in the sun with the other tortoises. She runs around as best she can. And over time, she's gonna get better, okay? All right, Big Mama's gonna go outside, so she's gonna go out the gate of Toys Land. So, all right, okay, one more person is here, companion. Who's this? <gasps> look at everybody! And look at the size of them. Come here, look at the gorgeous shell. You tell me if you can see, huh? All right, look at this gorgeous shell. This is uh, Baby Green, who you guys know. You check out the playlist, right? We got we got Baby Sheldon's playlist. Okay, Baby Green, okay, who came to me. Look at, can you see? All right, let's see gorgeous. if we can get that focus, right? Look at this. Uh, we don't know if it's a boy or girl. It's too young, okay? But uh, Baby Green, look how big. Okay, look at this. Baby Green is just about the size of Sheldon, okay? And only about six, seven, eight months old now, okay? Look at this, hi guys, woo, okay? So cool news about, look at that shell, right? Beautiful. Box turtles, so box turtles have a hinge. It's called a hinge right here, and box turtles can close up. Now what's the exciting thing? What happened last Sunday, everybody? Come on over here. What happened last Sunday? That, that baby green's big enough, baby green joined the other box turtles. Right oh, on. that's right. Right? First time. So he spent, spent most of his time with the other box turtles because he's a big boy or girl now. You're at nine minutes. Okay, nine minutes in, okay? So, and then at night, I like to bring them in. Now, these guys are in because it's cold out. When the temperature drops below about 75 degrees, this is from Dr. Shackley, experts at Access. Um, you know, she's like, do not put your tortoises outside, okay? It's just too cold. Oh, somebody flipped over. Red alert. Box turtles have a great ability to flip themselves back over, okay? You know, so you watch. He'll, he'll get himself right back over, okay? Well, we'll help him. Boom, okay? <laughs> All right, so when it gets below 75 degrees, everybody, you want to bring your tortoises in, okay? It's too cold. And vulnerable tortoises like this girl, Dr. Shack is like, you got to bring this one in. She's not, her shell is soft, which it is. See down here, the, the, the plastron, it's very soft, okay? So she's a vulnerable tortoise. So we don't want to risk her outside, even though they all have heated pets, 
right? Don't want to risk it. So at night, these guys come in, okay? And when the sun's up and warm, they go out. Now, let me show you something here. Hey, it's going to be Halloween tomorrow. <laughs> ah, happy <laughs> Halloween, everybody. Tortoise Guy Workshop is coming. You're going you're gonna to flip when you see it, okay? It's coming this week. And we have a we have a tortoise skeleton, and we're gonna we have the T Rex skeleton. Why? Because the T Rex, as fierce as it is, and all those teeth, who outlived the T the T Rex? These guys, right? Two hundred million years old, sixty five million years old. Asteroid came, bye bye. These guys survived. Why? Because they're smart. They know how to live. They know how to survive. Okay. Oh, well, happy Halloween, everybody. This is dragging itself. He's trying to drag. Okay. Right. All right, so here, I want to show you something real quick. We're going outside, talk to Big Mama, who already walked out. Hey, look who's here. Look who's here. Hi, big girl. This is, this is uh, Sweet Piper, as you guys know. Hi, honey, who could not be sweeter, right? Yes, yeah, give you day. Okay? It's cold, so she's probably not going to come outside with us. Now, I want to show you a couple cool things. All right? What's over here? Show us. Okay, this is cool. So this is the Tortoise Guy, of course, YouTube channel. Now, if you haven't subscribed and like, subscribe and like and comment, okay? You know, and what video dropped today at 8.45? These are radiated tortoises from Madagascar. I mean, they're born here, of course, right? This guy's name is John. This is Karen the Tortoise Guy. So what happened? Did we go to Madagascar? No. Okay, somewhere in the city of Los Angeles, this guy, John, his, his wife, Karen, his daughter, Brooke, created an incredible world for, of Madagascar. He loves wow. radiated tortoises, and he created, watch your fingers, right? He created this world. i Piper. Yeah, I'll forget, right? Okay, so you gotta check out the video. It's part one of a series. The guy's incredible, uh, the, what he feeds them, how he cares for them, incredible. So click on that after this live stream, not right now. All right, what's this right here? Tortoise guy swag. Right? We had four winners to the different contests, okay? Four winners. So here's their swag, all ready to be mailed tomorrow, okay? So if you're watching this, and I sent you emails already, your stuff's in the mail tomorrow. So how do you get swag? Well, you enter the contest we have, right? Okay, so let's go out. So happy birthday, Sheldon. Woo, okay? Happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy. Thanks, everybody, for the love and support. You go, chill. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go. Let's go check on Shy Girl's eggs. Okay, there's Rocky. Rocky's sleeping in the, in the living room, right? Okay, like I said, the video that dropped last week, you didn't see it, you gotta check it out. What's it called? Newbie Gets X ray. Awesome video, right, Suzanne? Cool. I mean, come on, how often do you see this? Come on, what's going on with Shy Girl's eggs, everybody? Here's what's going on, all right? Okay, let's check them out. Okay, okay, they're incubating. 83 degrees. Okay, so I open this up every day. You want to open it up for you want to open it up for a little bit. Why? You want to get the air circulated. You want to get fresh air in, old air out. Okay, keep the oxygen level good. Even though this is uh, on the substrate, you know, uh, 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 and it's moist, which keeps it moist. And there's water down below. These are great inexpensive incubators. They come from Hava Beta, and especially if you get a Boston accent, Hava Beta. They're inexpensive. You go on Amazon.com for less than like about 80 bucks. I've had this one for 20 years, okay? So these guys are incubating. It's looking good that they could hatch. Who knows, right? Shy Girl's first, uh, first uh, you know, clutch of eggs, all right? So uh, how, many, how many days does it take? It takes, uh, it takes 12 weeks, okay? And so it's been four weeks. So what does that mean? So it's 120 days. It's, it's incredible. They hatch almost to the day, my experience. Okay, we've hatched over probably 80 African silkatas here. So it's got, they got 60 days to go. So when it gets two weeks prior, we're gonna get these guys a, uh, a live cam, okay? We got the website set, getting set up for that. And then we can see when they hatch, all right? All right, how cool is that? All right, Very cool. we're almost done here, everybody, for today, all right? And look at the temperature, okay? Oh, look at the temperature. Now, if you live somewhere else, you might say, I grew up in Boston and it's like 60 degrees, it's like a heat wave, but in LA, it's not, okay? Like I said, tortoises, you know, you know they're, they're cold-blooded, they need the heat, right? So everybody here has heat pads, except the ones that are gonna go in hibernation, right? So several species go in hibernation, like desert tortoises do. Baby Sheldon's too little, so he's not going in hibernation. If you don't want your tortoise to go in hibernation, you 
keep them on the heat pass, right? That's a whole other subject, and, and and you go refer to go to Google, go to go to you know, do I incubate, do I hibernate my tortoises? Can I? Okay, there's a lot of camp cannon, uh, tortoise whisper, lots of people that can explain stuff better than I can in this short live stream, okay? But if your tortoise is the kind of tortoise that, that is going to hibernate, and you can check it out, you know, by checking out your species, then you want to uh, make sure that he's healthy. That's super, that's super important, okay? Let's go see real quick. Let's just say hi to these guys. So how exciting is this? We've had three tortoises lay eggs in the last month. Just be right. We had Shy Girl, laid 25. We had... Lumpy, I laid her one tiny egg that I didn't dig up because Dr. Shaq told me she's like, it's tiny. And I, I think I'd break it just trying to get out, it's that tiny. So we're leaving that, that's a beautiful, beautiful moment for her. Maybe she'll uh, lay more later. Pipe is coming out. And let's just say hi to these guys, because it's cold. So you'll notice they usually push these doors open. They're like, we don't want to come out today, we're good, okay? So look at, down here is the heat pads. There's beautiful Lumpy, okay? And there's Digger. Hi, Dig. Hi, Digger. Digger's awake. Hi, honey, come here. Okay? Look at Digger, okay? Digger's getting so big. Oh my gosh, okay? Look at, you. Look at him, right? Come here, everybody. Look at Digger. Digger was born right here. He's got his own playlist. Check it out, Digger. He's so big, he got stuck in Tortoise Land Mountain recently. Check out the video last week, pretty funny. He got, he, he bal he got balanced on a board and couldn't get out, right? He's so friendly, he's so beautiful, and he was born right here. Okay, so these guys are all chilling. He's waking up. Today, there's Lumpy waking up. These are heat pads, everybody. They come from Osborne, Osborne, Osborne Industries. I've been using them, so they, they last forever, okay? They're waterproof, they scrub clean, okay? We haven't double scrubbed yet this week, okay? But we will later today, okay? All right, Dig, you wanna go? Praise God, we're gonna go right back in, like squash. He's like, he's like, Dad, it's cold. Come on down on his level, Suzanne. He's like, it's cold. I'm gonna stay right in my house. Okay, come on over here, guys. One last thing I wanna show you. Oh, wait, here's the coolest thing up here. Speaking of the dogs, okay, everybody, Suzanne, who doesn't like to be in front of the camera and is doing the camera work, something momentous happened yesterday. What happened, Suzanne? Talk loud. I brought home a puppy. What? Yeah. Nice and loud? I brought home a one-year-old dog. Oh, she sure did. I'm going to tell you guys and ladies, my experience. If you want a companion besides a tortoise, in addition to a wonderful tortoise, get a dog, right? Yeah. Get a dog. My whole neighborhood knows about me because of these dogs, right? These dogs saved my life because they get me out. They love being out here with dad, all right? And you got a doggy, right? I sure did. I'm going to go home. Drop mm -hmm. dead gorgeous doggy probably in a couple of weeks. She'll be over here with you. We'll see. Right? We'll see. All right. Somebody else is down here. And you know who it is? It's Punk, the tiny, the little guy. I don't know where he is. Okay? Because I've been letting Punk come out. With, oh, here he is, everybody. Tracy Wells. If you're oh, watching, is, look at If you're watching Tracy Wells or anybody, uh, Tracy Wells was like, why don't you let Punk out more often? You guys, give me comments, you know? Give me comments. Suzanne reads them. Let me know if there's certain things you want to see or say. So guess what? Tracy's like, let him out. Why haven't I let him out? Because he's super aggressive and he not only smacks everybody, which can be fun for a minute, but he bites everybody. That's not fun. And that's not good. And it could he could damage one of the tortoises and get the, you know infect them. So, but lately I've been in the late afternoon when most of the tortoises are away and everyone's going to sleep. I let him come down with the big guys because he can't hurt them. And guess what? He's kind of been chilling with them. So thank you for that suggestion. Because I on my own I'd be like, no, he's got to pretty much stay. In. But guess what? He gets to go now. I do put him in during the day when I bring out a lot of the smaller tortoises because no, okay? He's a beautiful tortoise. Came from Celebrity, Sean, Derek, and that whole video is coming out soon. We'll go back in pool. Okay, one last thing, everybody. Who's that? Shy girl. And we just checked on your eggs, huh, honey? We just checked on your eggs, shy girl. You're just waking up too. She's still shy, right? You see that? She's still shy, but guess what? She takes, she lets me feed her. She takes food from me now, seven years in. Wow. How about that? Not normal, the other two at Cape, and she's super ticklish, I discovered, because she's actually getting a little friendlier. All right, so we're gonna find, oh, who are we finding? Come on right here. This is the last thing for today, right? 
Who? Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What did this girl do? Who was this? Big Mama. Oh, look at these guys love this. What's this right here? Hibiscus flowers, right? She's probably not gonna eat it now, but we grow them here. Why? Because they're super nutritious. You can eat them. I can eat them, right? The tortoises love them along with the leaves. Okay, so we grow them here. Come on this way. So what did Big Mama do? She laid eggs. Okay, two nights ago. I haven't dug them up yet. I was gonna do it, but I didn't do it this morning because I said I was gonna do it for the live stream. Too cold. Too cold. I don't want to get them out of the ground when it's 60 degrees out. That's not good. They could die if they're, in fact, you know, if they're, in fact, embryos in there. So, come on, I want to show you where she laid them. Okay? So, I'm very proud of the fact that here in Tortoise Land, now we don't actively breed tortoises. There's three males here. And uh, so, but if, if eggs if eggs come, like Shy Girl, they came from Shelly, guaranteed, the 80 pound rescue tortoise, right? Check out that playlist because Shelly came and a couple months later, Shy Girl laid eggs and Lumpy laid eggs. And I saw, I saw Shelly mount both of them. So there you go. Atta boy, Shelly, right? Okay, come here, we're coming over here. All right, so what's going on here? All right, we got Tortoise Lynn Mountain is up and running again. All right, she got a big thing of work. Oh, listen to her, huh? Hi, honey. Okay. Was that her? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Tortoises make noises and they cry and they, you know, all kinds of stuff. All right. So she's gonna go back into a pen and heat up. But before that, I want to show you something. Hi, hmm? honey. I am proud of this girl. Now this is not the first time she's laid eggs. And if you go to the playlist, tortoises laying eggs, you're gonna see a great video. I'm holding up the egg in the snapshot. Okay. And me and Diane watched this beautiful girl a year ago. I think it was Valentine's, lay a whole bunch of eggs, okay? They did not hatch. The thing is, she's laid about quite a few eggs, 40 eggs over the past few years. None have hatched. Don't know why, you know? Don't know why. Don't know if she's not fertile or of the three boys, if, if they're not fertile. Or tortoises can lay eggs, you know, whether, whether they mate or not. Did you know that? And here's a cool thing about survival of tortoises, like the T-Rex is gone, but she's alive. Did you know that some tortoise species can, if, if they, she mates with a male, because a lot of times, you know, it's not often that a male and female might meet in the wild. She can store the sperm of the male, ready for this? For 10 years. What? 10 years, right? Okay, so that's because, you know, it's rare that they don't meet, and what if they don't meet, and how is she gonna have babies, right? One of the one of the million amazing things about tortoises that I love, and it's incredible. Ten years, imagine that. Okay, right? I know, Piper. Look at honey. All right, Piper's saying wrap it up, Dad. Okay, so let's go see what what uh, Big Mama did. Okay, what did Big Mama do, Big Girl? What did you do? Let's show the world. Come here, ready? All right. And she's got her hibiscus flat. Look at how beautiful, right? Okay. Now, red foot tortoises, like this one, right? Red foot tortoises, they come from South America, Central America, right? When, unfortunately, they're very endangered, okay? They, they weren't before. But we take their land, we eat them, we, you know, do all kinds of things to them. So, you know, part of tortoise land is about education. It's about getting people to know these and uh, love these, you know, and help us to care for them. Global warming, right? All the, all the problems that are killing them off, right? Now, you know who's under here? Speaking of redfoots, Juvie the redfoot. Juvie, Juvie manages to go under, climb up through the rebar. Check out the video, Juvie needs a home, needs to be adopted, because he does. We, we need a bigger, better place for him. This is not, this is a good, better place, but this is an in-between place, right, Suzanne? This is for this Juvie. Is, we have 38 tortoises here now. So if you want to adopt a bunch out, how do you do it? The tortoise guy, Kevin, at gmail.com. Hit me up and we'll discuss it, okay? All right, come here. And we do that through Tortoise Land, the nonprofit, okay? All right, come here. Let's see where Big Red, Big Mama laid her eggs. Hi, Big Mama. Come here. Come on over here. Can you see this? Right here, Suzanne. There's two places for tortoises to lay eggs in Tortoise Land. This is for the little guys, all right? Right here. Can you see this right here? See this indent? She laid the eggs right here, okay? This door is here to close. I'll close this after this video. I close this up. So if tortoises lay eggs and I see them lay eggs, we close it up so no one else can go in and dig. And then when it warms up, I'm gonna dig them out. Why am I gonna dig them out? And just not leave them there, let them hatch or not hatch? Because we don't have the space here. 
Okay, if we had the space, I would do that. We don't have that. Okay, so they gotta be come out of the ground. And I wanna incubate them. It would be great to have some red foot babies, right? Okay, and who's in there? Can you see this, Suzanne? Talk about hibernation and stuff. Can you see? Okay, under here, see this? Okay, you know the two big box turtles, white and blue? Okay, box turtles hibernate, right? Okay? They hibernate. So those two guys have gone under there <laughs> about a foot in, okay? And they are hibernating right now. So I let them hibernate, okay? They're good on their own. If they want to come out, if it's warm and they come out of hibernation, they just come right out, go over there, eat, get, you know, so it's all good, right? So, okay, we're going to wrap things up by saying what? Happy birthday, Sheldon. Happy birthday, <laughs> Sheldon. Check out the video that dropped this morning, 845, Madagascar Land. I named it that, okay? It's incredible. John and Karen and Brooke created a world, Madagascar world, with radiated tortoises, which are fabulous and spectacular. Please check out that video, all right? And we're going to see, we're going to, I'm going to have some time today. I'm going to, I'm going to undig those eggs and we're going to see how many she laid. Sometimes she can lay 15, sometimes she lays two, you know, it just depends, right? Okay. We'll find out. You'll find out. We'll find out. Stay tuned, right? Maybe we'll do a contest like we did with Shy Girl. Yeah. How many eggs, right? Okay, so please help us out. Patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy, right? And become a member. It's a cool thing. You can do GoFundMe. You can do PayPal too for the tortoise guy. The cool thing with uh, Patreon.com, what's the cool thing? You become a member, actually, you know, of, of the tortoise guy. Uh, and, and, you, and that dollar a month... Or five dollars or ten dollars you get things you know like a live stream uh, and that's coming for those of you that have contributed five dollars a month or more okay once a month we'll do a 30 minute live stream and and we'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about on the live stream or you can get a t-shirt or a hat and it helps us out okay so consider that gonna update you on Shelly on Lucky Lucy uh, a video coming out uh, soon about uh, a paleontologist that came and visited, a paleontologist artist that came and visited. How cool is that? Going to Maui, all kinds of stuff, all right? Okay, everybody. So Big Mama's like, hey, it's chilly. I'm going to go in my heated pen, all <laughs> Tracy right? Tracy says, hey, punk, I like him. Who does? Tracy. Tracy, I did that for you. And because of you and because of your comment, I have the boy out. How about that? Yeah. So I do listen to people. Remember, I'm not an expert. I'm the tortoise guy, right? So I listen and I learn and uh, have fun and learn with me and uh, and just cool things are coming. Next week, what are we going to reveal on Sunday? The Tortoise Guy's Workshop. Oh, green screen. Everything's in there. Why? Well, because it's been in the works for a while. And one other cool thing, starting this Tuesday, because we are now an official nonprofit, 501c3, we will have our first official volunteer. Oh, wow. And Tracy says he's so cute, punk. Ah, right? He is. And, and he's mellowing out a little, being out with the big guys. How about that? Huh? So he won't be as popular maybe. You know, I put a punk video out, it's like 3,000 views in 10 seconds, right? So uh, um, anyways, we have a first volunteer coming next this Tuesday. Uh, three hours, two, two days a week. And then we have a second one coming. So Tortoise Land, a nonprofit, is, is, really, is really moving, okay? To help as many tortoises as we can. All right, thanks everybody. From Piper, from Kevin, from Suzanne and Suzanne's new doggy, from Cray Cray Rocky, who's in the house, and we'll, we'll probably come out as soon as the camera goes off oh, yeah. last week. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Suzanne. Thanks everybody. Big Mama, what are you gonna say? You're gonna say happy birthday to beautiful baby Sheldon, and tortoises thrive here. And when they lay eggs, we incubate them, see what happens. So stay tuned. Get ready, Suzanne. Shut that thing off. Right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Okay. Boom. Right, 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 Piper.